Okay, so one red spring with the jump board. Okay. Find your neutral. We'll do a little bit of imprint. So once you get neutral, just pull your lower back down into the carriage. Close those front ribs, arms are long, and we're going to start with our left leg. So your left foot is toward the top of the jump board, right leg is tabletop, just push out to a straight leg, flat foot to start, and push off the ball of that left foot. We'll push, push, working through the foot. Relax through the shoulders and the neck. Four, three, two, and switch to the right leg. Really work through the foot. Don't hyperextend in the knee. You can soften the knee if it makes it feel better. Four, three, two, and back to the left for six, five, four, Three, two, switch, six, three, two, count of two, one, two, switch, one, two, switch, switch. Last time on twos, here we go, single, show pony prancing, work through the foot. And let's pick up the pace, carriage as still as you can, working through the feet. Eight, seven, six, last two, and last one. Beautiful. And let's bring it in. Okay, headrest up or down, whichever you prefer. Going back to narrow V, push out, staying externally rotated. Let's lift our left leg to an external rotation tabletop. Close your ribs, a little bit of imprint, and externally rotated, we're pushing off our right leg. Work through the whole foot. Four. Three, two, and let's switch. Four, three, two, and switch. Six, five, four, three, two, switch. Three, two, and count to two. One, two, switch. One, two, one, two. Keeping your ribs closed, don't rock side to side. And single counts. Work to the foot. And pick up that pace. Prancing in place. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. And bring it in. Okay, knees to the chest. And we're gonna roll to the side and add on spring load. Let's add a yellow. So we have a red and a yellow. Coming back down. Parallel feet, ankles, knees together. Close your ribs, lengthen through. Come in on your toes, press out, flat foot lift. In on your toes, press out. Engaging the glute hamstring insertion point. Six. Three more, two, 
two. And this one, up and down with the heels, tap, lift, 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 holding that imaginary golf ball right at the base of the pelvic floor. Five, four, three, two, heels stay high in and out, stay high heel the whole time. Find your big toe, inner ankle, inner thigh alignment. Four, three, two, and last one. And let's bring it in. Good. Externally rotate balls of the feet on the top of the jump board. And same thing, we push out, tap the heels, lift, and bring it in. Don't just release into the spring to bring the carriage in. Think of sticky feet, pull that carriage in. So you feel the glute hamstring engagement. Five. Four. And let's get up all the way out. Heels down, up, up, up. Press into the big toe. Keep that inner thigh connection. Five, four, three, two. Heels are high in and out there. Same thing. Pull the carriage out. Five, four, last two, and last one, and bring it in, shake it out, good. Narrow V, heels flat. Push out to where your heels can stay on the on the jump board, and push out flat foot, engaging the glutes. Pull that carriage in only as far as your heels stay on that jump board. Getting that extra narrow squeeze as you lengthen through the legs. Five, four, ribs are closed, neck is long, shoulders down, three, last two, and last one, you're going to push out straight leg, push off your feet now, staying, heels together, toes apart, so your narrow V, push, 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 push. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Bring it in. Internally rotate. So your toes and knees are together and your heels swing apart. Pressing out all the way straight. Keeping your heels pressed in the jump board. Last two, and last one, press out straight leg, push into your toes, same way, find your big toe. Keep that internal rotation at the hip, not just the feet. Five, four, three, two, and one, and bring it in. Good, All right. Roll to the side, we're gonna go back to one red spring for full jumping. Headrest up or down, whichever you prefer. Let's start ankles, knees, thighs back together parallel. Close your ribs and just find your jump. Keep 
Keeping your ankles and knees squeeze tight. Find the full range of your rails. Four, three, two. All right, we're gonna do a knee tuck, this tiny jump. Pull your knees in, reach your toes out. So it's a fast in out. Keeping your ankles and knees together. Shoot those legs out. Six. Last four, breathe, three, two, and one. Back to regular jumping. Good, externally rotate, narrow V jump. Three, two, and same thing. We're gonna do a little froggy kick in, out to land. Well, in, out to land. Six. Last two. Last one. Go back to jumping. Straight legs. Extremely rotated, heels squeezed together. Six. And let's bring it in. Knees to the chest. We'll rock back and forth. Walk your shoulders away from the shoulder blocks a little bit. Happy baby. Point your toes, extended knee. And flex. And point. And flex. And bring it in. Ready, starting externally rotated. So we'll do a series externally rotated Peter Pan jump. We'll come back center and we'll open V. Bring back. Feet together. The whole series is external rotation though. So let's do a couple jumps here. Heels squeeze together. All right, next one, Peter Pan. We'll stag jump, come together to land. Stag together. Stag together. Make sure you're breathing. Two more times, each side. Last one. Good, regular straight leg jump, externally rotated. Four, three, two, Good. We're going to go into a little V extension. Open, close to land. Open, close to land. Engaging lower abdominals, heels, tap together to land. Six. Four more. Three. Two. And let's do eight jumps, regular external rotation, squeeze the legs long. Last four, three, two, and bring it up. Good, knees 
to the chest. Alrighty, taking hold of the pegs, cross your right leg over your left, and we're gonna spiral, keeping our elbows wide. Bring yourself out at the waist. Come back to the center when you're ready. Straighten out, cross your left over your right. Back to the center, good. Last set jumping here. We're gonna do parallel, same thing. Parallel, ankles, knees, thighs, jump together. We're gonna scissor, land, scissor, land, scissor, land, we jump straight. And then let's go back to jump straight, knee tuck, extend, okay? Parallel jump, squeeze the ankles and knees together. Engage that lower belly, close your ribs. Walk your shoulders down away from the shoulder blocks. Five, four, Okay, next one, we're gonna jump into scissor. Scissor, land, opposite. Switching legs each time. Get that leg down and parallel to land. Three more times each side. Two. Last one. Parallel. Six. Last three. Two. And next one, knee pull. Pull in, shoot them out to land. jumps and let's bring it up knees to the chest happy baby flex to the feet extended B point and flex point and flex and flex and let's bring it back in. All right, we're gonna stay on a red spring and stay on our back. I just have to get my loops. Let's start with our left foot in a long black strap. Staying on a red spring. All right, left leg comes to 90. Drop that left hip, reach your right leg, 45. And then release that leg and strap without hiking that hip up into your armpit. Take hold of the leg or the strap, stretch and release. We're gonna scissor. Your left leg is at 45. We're going to helicopter around two scissor extensions. And helicopter. Keeping your tailbone anchored. Watch your hips. All 
I go as wide in that helicopter as you can support through the hip rotation. One more time. And when you want to end up with that left leg, 90 degrees, take hold of the leg or the strap, pull that leg in, reach through with the right leg, drop that left hip out of your armpit. Flex through your right foot, extend through that leg, and open your left leg to the side, keeping your hips square. Come back to the center, switch, crisscross your legs, flexing through both feet, point your left toes down toward the ground, and pull that left hip away from your rib cage. Back to the center, bending both knees. Let's switch. It's 90, lengthen through the waist, reach for that left leg, either with the leg or the strap, come into that stretch. Keep trying to tip your pelvis toward the jump board and scissor through. Good. Next time your right leg is 45 degrees, helicopter around, two scissors. Helicopter, anchoring that tailbone. Let's do two more all the way through. Left extended, take hold of the leg or the strap, drop that hip out of your rib cage. Close your ribs, shoulders down. Flex through that left foot and externally rotate, open up that right leg toward your ear. Come back to the center, flex both feet, crisscross. Right toes point toward the ground and pull your right hip out of your rib cage. Back to the center and bend it up. Good. Let's take both long straps with our in our hands. Let's move our shoulders down away from the shoulder blocks. Legs tabletop. Find tension in those springs by bringing your wrist right over your shoulders. And starting just with arms, float the arms down to the carriage, not hitting uh, the carriage, but float up above and come back to 90. Shoulders down, neck is long. If your headrest is up, I suggest putting it down. So you can make sure to get that length and extension out of the neck. Four, three, two. This one we're going to meet up with our arms along the length of the carriage. Bend your elbows in. Uh, squeeze your rib cage with your elbows, and we're going to go with a full abdominal tricep release. Exhale. Six more. Breathing. Four. Three. Two. 
three, two, and one. Rinse that bent elbow, legs are tabletop. Eight tricep extensions just with the arms. Last three, pulling the shoulders down, keep your elbows narrow to your body. Good, straight arms hovering above the carriage. Rotate your palms facing. And we open to a T. Don't let your hands go above your shoulders. Keep that scooped out armpit. Engaging the obliques, wrapping around the front of the body. Five. Four. Good, and come in, palms facing the carriage. We're gonna do circles. Keeping those circles in front of you. Shoulders down, neck is long, relax the jaw. Four, three, two, reverse. Eight circles, scoop out the armpit, lift up the armpit, wrap the obliques, keep the ribs closed, shoulders down. Three, two, and one. Good. Come back, straight arms. Rotate palms to the sky. We're going to exhale, scoop up, come back down. Scoop with the hands as you imprint with your belly. Let's do five more. Last three. Two. We're gonna meet up in that extension. Hold it there, drop your chin circles here, palms facing the sky. And reverse, five, four, three, two, and one. And bring it in. Beautiful, all right. Uh, loops go back on the pegs. We are rolling to the side to come up. Let's take our jump board off. Oh, actually, sorry, no, I lied. Let's keep our jump board on. We're gonna to go to a yellow spring. Okay, if you want your ball underneath your ribs or your shoulder, um, get your red ball. If not, scoot your booty toward the bottom and the back of the carriage. Coming on to our side, I'm on my right side. Stack the hips, so roll that top hip forward so you're parallel. Heel is right underneath the sit bone, lift up in the ribs. That's what I mean, you can either put a ball here or just hold up, but you wanna feel that lift of the obliques on the carriage. And I'm just gonna push in and out, come onto your toe. Sticky foot comes in, push out onto your toe. Three, two, and this one we meet up with the carriage all the way out, heel tap, eight, seven, six, five. And let's leave our heel down. As we come in, keep that heel grounded as long as you can, push into the heel. Pressing down with that leg on the carriage, lifting up in the waist, hips stacked. Five, four,
And next one, take that carriage out. Externally rotate without dropping that hip uh, back. Come in, externally rotate it, push into that heel. Four. Three. Shoulders down, neck is long. Good, we're gonna take the carriage all the way out. Now heel, lift, tap, lift, tap, lift, tap. Five, four, three, two, keep the heel high. And we go in and out, externally rotated on the toes. Five. Good, last transition here. Carriage all the way up, drop the heel, come back parallel. We're gonna jump, so keep that, that top hip square. Full jump, length of the rails. Eight. Last four. Three, two, and last one. Bring it up. Good. All right, coming on to our back. Figure four with that left leg. Square your hips first. Flex your foot. Draw that right knee in. Good, let's go to the other side. Oh. Toward the back, the bottom of your carriage. Nice tall waist, parallel, stay on your toes, in and out. Stack that top hip. Press down with that supporting thigh. Four. Three. Two. Good, let's take the carriage all the way out. Heel taps, eight, seven, six, Last three, two, and keep the heel down. We're coming in as far as you can keep that heel down. Extend the carriage out, push all the way through that heel. All right, I don't know why my phone is blowing up. Let's do three. Two. And one. Externally rotate on your heel. Pressing out, stack that hip. Lift up in the hip. Up in the ribs. Four. Three. Two. And last one. Your lifts up, down, up, down. Keep that top hip stacked. Four, three. Two, heel stays high, in and out, externally rotated, lifting up in the ribs, shoulders down, neck is long. Five. 
four, three. Good, let's take the carriage out. Drop our heel, turn parallel. Lift back up and go into full jump. Six more, keep that top hip stacked. Ribs closed. Four. Three. Two. And one. And let's bring it in. Good pull up behind your back. Cross over. Open that knee first. Square your hips. And clear left knee and flexing through your right foot so that ankle has energy and is in line with your calf. Unwinding, let's come to happy baby. And extending through, pointing the toes. And let's come up, do beat, beat, flex open, point, beat, beat, flex open. Five, tight little beat, four, three, last two, and one. And let's meet up, flex through the heels. And bring it in. Good. And roll to the side. Now let's take off a jump forward. Stand a yellow spring. We're gonna go into elbow plank with our elbows on the carriage. Feet are on the platform. Feel the hand is on the inside of the shoulder block. Heels are in line with your sit bones so your feet are not too wide. You're still on one yellow spring. And into your plank. Tuck your pelvis toward your chin. Scoop out the belly. Close the ribs. Lift up in the chest. Fill out the shoulder blades. Shoulders down, long neck, gaze is right at the carriage. Find your big toes to find that alignment. The inner ankle, inner thigh, pelvic floor. Good, pushing from your lats. Push that carriage forward, draw it back in. Scooping out the armpit. Six. Five. Make sure you're breathing. Pushing from your lats. Three, two, back in the plank, hold for eight, seven, five, four, last two, and with our big toe, inner thighs. Pull that carriage in, push back out to plank, hold. Pull it in, push it out, hold. Four. Three. Two. One more for good measure. And a plank. Pull it there. Eight. Seven. Six. And four. Breathing. Shoulders down. Neck is long. Last three. Two. And one. 
and bring it in. Take a high hip, child's pose. Okay, coming back into our elbow plank. Pushing out, coming to our elbow handstand after we get that plank, land it, hold it, lift up in the chest, shoulders down. You're gonna pull through the pelvis and inner thigh and belly into your little hand stand, or headstand. Push back out, hold in between. Land that plank, six more. And shoulders down. Last one, we meet up in plank. Hold it, eight, seven, six, wrap those ribs tighter, four, three, two, and one. High hip child's pose. Good. Last thing before leg circles. Okay, knees up against the shoulder blocks. You're still on a yellow spring. Walk your hands forward over your shoulders. Let's sit our booty back. Don't sit down on your heels though. We're going to do abdominal tuck and curl. Release. Don't release all the way. Stay in that contraction. Like you're rounding over a ball. Close the ribs. Five. Four. Three. Last one. And bring the carriage back. Good. Try and keep your hands where they are. Shift so your weight's on your knees, scoop out your armpit, close your ribs. And we're pulling through with the lats. Same thing here, don't release the spring tension. Stay in tension as you reverse the motion. Shoulders pull away from the ears. Four. Three. Two, and one, and bring it back. Okay, take a little rest. We're gonna do all of that all over again. Walk your hands forward. Good, shoulders down, sit your booty back. Exhale, scoop and pull forward. Down, long neck, ribs are closed. And last one, and release. Just pitch your weight forward onto your knees, scoop out your armpits, lift up in your chest, engage your lower abdominals, and pull forward for eight. Make sure you're breathing. Last four, three, 
two, and one. Take a nice upper body extension. And let's bring it back. All right, let's add a blue spring on. One yellow, one blue, laying on our back. Feet are in the long black straps. Externally rotate, half circle at the bottom. Sit bones, pelvis, inner thighs. Five. Last two. And last one, this time let's go full circles, opening at the bottom, keeping your tailbone anchor, your pelvic, the pelvic floor facing the far wall. Walk in the park, parallel, bend one knee. Exhale, scoop that toe down. Feel your lower abdominals engage. Keep the, keep the ribs closed. If you want to add the roll up, make sure your headrest is down. Dirt digger with that foot, pushing down, scoop up. One more time, each side. Good, 90 degrees, both legs, little belly abdominals, toe lifts, up. No wheelbarrow, keep the heels over the sit bones, five. Four. Next time, come all the way down, anchor that tailbone. Start circles at the top. Next time, 90 degrees, let's do our toe lifts again. Anchor and roll up and down eight times. Last two, last one, and let's open to our extended V. Soles of the feet together, pull your heels in towards your pelvis. 